The Telematics Application Framework, or TeleF, includes tools for debugging services and apps. In this video, you'll see how we use four of those tools. Supervisor runs on the device. It's the app tool you use to manually start, stop, remove, and restart applications. The log tool is used to set different levels of log messages from the application or services installed on the device. SDIR lets you manage the registered services and API bindings between clients and services. CM is designed for testing some of the services from the command line. Let's go to the device to see how these tools work. From my local computer, I connect the device via ADB shell. I start with the app tool. When I run app help, I get a list of all available commands, including start, stop, restart, remove apps, list all available apps installed on the device, obtain app status, show the version information of a specific application, show app info for a specific application. I run app list to show what's installed on the device. The services starting with TAF belong to the telematics application framework. The last entry in the list, Hello World, is a test app I pre-installed on the device. Now I run the app status command. The output shows that all of the TeleF platform services are running. The status of the Hello World test app is stopped. I run the command app start Hello World to manually start my test app. This time when I run the app status command, it shows that the status of Hello World is running. Next I use the log tool. Six log levels are defined in the system for different levels of information. I run log help to list them. Debug, info, warning, error, critical, emergency. You can take advantage of those levels to output troubleshooting messages and debug your apps and services. You can use manual commands such as log forget, log trace, and log stop trace to reset the log level configuration. A moment ago, we started the test app Hello World. To check the log, I run the command log read pipe grep hello world. The output shows that the app prints out hello world to the console with a different log level every five seconds. Next is the SDIR tool used for managing the service registration and API bindings between client and service. It includes manual commands to bind client interfaces and services from the command line. I run SDIR list to check registered services and API bindings. The output shows that the first group, bindings, is the API mappings from the client side to the server side. You can use this list to verify that you've correctly added bindings to your app or service. The right side are the dependent services. So from the services, we can go to the second group, the services list, and see whether those dependent services are available or correctly registered on the device. All the services should be available in the services group. The third group, waiting clients, lists the clients with dependent services that are not yet running. SDIR is useful when you want to perform live troubleshooting. Finally, we use the CM tool to define multiple groups of command line operation of TeleF services. Use these commands to monitor the business and functions of some service groups. SMS groups include functions like monitoring incoming messages and sending, listing, and querying messages. Radio usage is for radio-related functionality. Data usage is for data network management. SIM usage is for SIM card management. I run the command CM radio status and the output shows the current network operator and registration status. I run the command CM data info and the output shows that the data network is correctly set up. It lists the IP addresses, connection statuses, and other details of the current configuration. The CM tool lets you easily monitor all available platform services. The debug tools in the telematics application framework are designed to simplify development. Please watch the next short video in our TeleF series on voice calling.